Each year, as many as 20% of Americans get influenza, and Americans suffer from nearly 1 billion colds, or the equivalent of over 3 colds per person per year. Despite the prevalence of these seasonal infections, there continues to be numerous misconceptions. A report from Harvard Medical School debunks common myths and dishes the facts you need to know during this year's cold and flu season. When is a good time to stay home from work or keep a child out of school? It's important to stay home during the most contagious period of infection. However, it can be difficult to pinpoint exactly when. A cold is contagious during the entire time there are symptoms, but you are most likely to spread the cold right after you catch the virus. For the flu, you are most infectious from the day before symptoms until the fifth day. When is a good time to see a doctor? It's recommended to pay your doctor a visit if you are experiencing a high fever, shaking chills, chest pain with each breath, coughing that produces thick green mucus, dehydration, or worsening of an existing medical condition. Why do colds and flu increase during the winter? People are more likely to remain indoors during cold weather, so spreading germs is easier. Also, the dehydration of nasal and respiratory passages from artificially heated, dry winter air provides favorable environment for virus transmission by reducing natural defenses. Should I feed a cold or starve a fever? No, there is no reason to eat more or less than usual, but do drink plenty of fluids. Is it safe to get a flu shot if I have a cold? Yes, a flu vaccination is safe as long as you are not feeling overly sick and do not have a fever.